It's, uh, I'm very happy to be here today to present uh, an award to my friend Alex Borstein. I've been friends with Alex for around 25 years, and uh, I've been a witness to her kindness for exactly as long. She's a very genuine and outspoken person and uh, always willing to sn stick her neck out for people. And I think that's what a humanitarian is. So it's a good, whoever decided to give you one of these, it's a good, it's a good idea. Um, Alex is one of those people who is passionately committed to her family, so it makes perfect sense that uh, she has given of herself to serve those affected by, uh, sorry, inherited bleeding disorders. This is something that affects, <laughs> that affects her daughter, brother, uncle, as well as herself. She is a longtime supporter of the National Hemophilia Foundation and has acted as a spokesperson for NHF on uh, many, many initiatives. She's done a lot for hemophilia. Take my word for it, or you might explain some of it, or you can look it up on the internet if you want to be weird about it. <clears throat> it is my honor to present the Creative Coalition's Humanitarian Award to my dear pal, Alex Borstein. heard so much about you. I thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. We're both here on a day of obesity. Thanks for that. <clears throat> um, well, you stole most of my speech, but I'll, I'll continue. I want to thank the Creative Coalition for honoring me. This is really cool. I'm going to sit on this later. <laughs> thank you. Yes, I will sell tickets to raise money for the Creative Coalition. It'll be on OnlyFans. Are they back to doing that again? Okay, let me get to it. I have a minute. Um, I thank you to the Creative Coalition for, for amplifying voices like mine, giving me the ability to shine a light on organizations like the National Hemophilia Foundation. And as they, they do amazing work, I must thank them too. They, they connect and care for the hemophilia community and other bleeding disorders. There are many, but hemophilia is what they really started with. Um, and for those of you that don't know, uh, it is a usually a, a genetically inherited bleeding disorder. So someone I want to thank who is here today um, is my mother. She just put food in her mouth. She's the one complaining about the sun over there. Um, I, without her, I would not be up here today. Um, not just because she birthed me, but because... Um, the bleeding disorder is inherited. Um, she, she gave me these cheekbones and these eyebrows and the thighs that touch and also hemophilia A. Thank you for that. Her mother was a carrier, she was a carrier. Her brother who recently passed was a hemophiliac. My brother is a hemophiliac. My eight-year-old daughter who couldn't be here today because she's not vaxxed, she is a hemophiliac. So I'm not here as a spokesperson, I am here as a family member of the bleeding disorder community and it is a passion. It's not something I choose to get the word out about, I must. Um, there's so little awareness, it's a rare disorder, it is wildly expensive to care for. Um, so this really enables us to get the word out, raise awareness, to get more treatment centers available for people affected and that have no access to treatment here and abroad. Um, and I think that's about everything. Have I said too much? There is nothing more I can think of to say to you. That's Avita. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.